This is what Jesus says. Woman, believe me, a time is coming when you will worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You Samaritans worship what you do not know. We worship what we do know, for salvation is from the Jews. Yet a time is coming and has now come when the true worshipers, the true worshipers will worship the Father in the spirit and in truth, for they are the kind of worshipers the Father seeks. God is spirit, and his worshipers must worship in spirit and in truth. Jesus is saying you're focusing on being in the right location, right? And worship is something that's way deeper than that. You're, as she's focusing on physical water, Jesus is saying, I got something way more important for you, right? She's caught up in all the physical details that don't matter, and she's missing all the things that do matter. And we do this exact same thing. We do the exact same thing. We think that if we can just get our plan right, right, then God will be pleased. We think if we can get all the details right, right, if we avoid the, the bad ways of worshiping and and do the good ways of worshiping if we raise our hands at the right moment, right? Maybe if, if we're just in the building, right, this morning, coming to church this morning is not enough to please the Lord, right? It's not about coming and punching the clock, singing the, the lyrics on the screen, and then coming home. Jesus quotes the prophet Isaiah when he says this, These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. They worship me in vain, and their teachings are merely human rules. Doing the, quote, right actions or saying the right words or singing the right lyrics is not what pleases God. And what is it that pleases God? Jesus says, God the the Father is looking for true worshipers. True worshipers, people who worship him in spirit and in truth. Worshiping in spirit means it's not an outward show, right? It means your spirit, your inner spirit is connected with the spirit of God, right? True worship is spiritual. God tells the prophet Samuel, man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. True worship is a heart thing. True worship starts invisible, God can see what's going on in our heart, and he knows if it's a show, right? We can't fool God. We can't fool God. What's the greatest commandment? It's not obey the Lord. It's not do all the things and say all the right words, right? It's love the Lord. Love the Lord. Love the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. Three-quarters of that is completely invisible, 